Hey, thanks for watching. As always, before I get into today's book review, go ahead and drop a comment with whatever good book that you're reading out there because I have to be surrounded by good books at all times. So the book we're looking at today is called Killing Christians by Tom Doyle. It was written in 2015 and there's 207 pages. There's eight short stories or eight chapters. Uh, and the tagline for the book is living the faith where it is not safe to believe. This book is intense. It's mostly based around, you know, Muslim and Islamic countries uh, where you know Christians are persecuted and the first story right off the bat is so intense I had to set the book down for a while and I didn't get back to it later until I you know finally got around to it again but basically one young man and his mother became Christians and the son had to run away uh, and the father found out where the son was living and he had a courier deliver the dead body of his mother hacked up into little pieces now that is the grittiest thing I heard in a long time but it was a true story um, and you know it is not not to paint the not to say this book is depressing because it's not um, the the way that these believers overcome it's truly inspiring because you know I live in the Western world where we don't face that kind of persecution but these people they push forward with everything they had in spite of these horrible conditions and just gave their all for Christ uh, they're colorful human stories there is very well written um, they're culturally educational uh, vivid portrayals of people and their and their places where they live uh, but it also motivates you to be a better Christian uh, knowing others have paid such a high price I would give this book four out of five stars um, I would consider it 25 percent rereadable just because you kind of already know what's happening with the stories this author also wrote dreams and visions is Jesus awakening the Muslim world and we see some of that in this book too where there's dreams and powerful spiritual supernatural things that are happening that help strengthen Christians in these horrible conditions so hey thanks again for watching uh, like comment subscribe all that good stuff we'll see you next time thanks